Hello and welcome to a world of pure shittiness. This is a um, Philips CDI game. Um, what's it called? International Tennis Open. So let's uh, fire up this beast of a system. Beast mainly because of its size and not the. Uh, not the actual power of the system. Um, I'm recording via the old camera pointing at the TV method today. Um, it appears that the CDI is one of them older consoles that just doesn't like my uh, capture device. So you'll have to excuse me for that. So it's published by Infograms and they actually own all the rights to the um, I think every single CDI game that was officially released um, these days I'm not really sure what use them rights are to them but it means that um, even though CDI is dead um, the, C the games are still copy protected um, they're a French company that's why the languages are English and French This is actually connected to the TV with a um, RGB SCART lead, the one with the full set of pins, rather than uh, the cheaper style with, I don't know, what is it, three or four pins. So, um, some op see what options there are. Choose one of these options. Choose one of these options. Hey. Um level one, level one uh, normal commentary English. Choose one of these options. Um I dunno I, I don't know what's going on with them options. So we'll just go for, oh, fuck it, we'll go for a tournament. Loading times aren't that bad really compared Hello, to... Hello, welcome to beautiful Paris, France for the latest shut event up. in this year's International Tennis Open. The season's warming oh, up. fuck, shut up. Um, yeah, the, the loading times aren't bad. Fuck's sake, I'm going to have to mute it. The guy's fucking irritating me. Yeah, um, loading times aren't bad compared to uh, something like the Mega CD. Um, takes on Ullman, a key match and that's for sure. But the, um, the graphics aren't much better really. Um, the umpire has told the players to start the match and it's player to serve first. It. It's just, it's, um, so that's how you serve. Yeah, it's more like they've just gone for this whole, um, Cramming as much media onto the disc as I can, but like it's just like all media and not really any gameplay. Um, I mean, these graphics, um, Mega Drive could do this, I'm sure. I did have a look at the CDI specs, and it was listed as a 16 slash 32 bit processor, so. Um, I'm not 100% whether it's a 16 or a 32. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. It's going to shit. All the commentary is in French as well. Which is pretty fucking stupid. It's just bizarre the way you, you've got this annoying um, American commentator and then um, the actual umpire or whatever is uh, talking French.
interesting to see if I'll make it to the um, London stage over the umpires in uh, in English. Yeah, this game just the, the, the animation feels broken. Like there's not enough frames. Um, the ball at the moment is coming back like ridiculously fast in this match. I don't know why. Yeah, it's definitely not um, virtue of tennis, that's for sure, or top spin. It's um, probably actually less playable than Pong. Just imagine like, how gutted you'd be if you'd just gone and spent however much it was for a CDI um, back when it first came out um, I'm not sure 100% how much it was but I know it was a ridiculous price and you slot this disc in and it's just fucking some shitty fucking half made pile of piss I suppose it's it's not I'm getting I'm warming into it I'm sort of getting the hang of it now but yeah you just can't you just can't forgive this um, this animation it's terrible fuck's sake Um, controls. You've, all you've got is, it seems, one sort of um, hit, one sort of stroke, whatever you call it. Oh, just fired. Um, so it's pretty simple as well. There's no like forehand, backhand, or anything like that. Can't put any spin on the ball, no uh, long shot, short shot, anything like that. A lot of rallies in a long, long game. So it feels like a long game when it's this shit. God. I don't know how them guys in that um, tennis final must have felt where the Playing for like six hours solid. Probably having a lot more fun than this, though. The thing with the CDR was that it was primarily a um, uh, sort of like a CD um, multimedia system and it wasn't primarily a games console however the thing that sold the most out of all the software was the games so it sort of turned into a gaming machine and uh, it's not it's not capable at all um, the controller for it's pretty shitty, you know, it's got a D-pad and four buttons um, and at the time, you know, the Super Nintendo had six buttons as standard um, you know, the Mega Drive had a optional six button controller, so it's just an, an odd choice just to give it four buttons Get on to don't. I 
Yeah, so this this is the um, International Tennis Open for the CDI. Um, you'll probably, if you buy a CD, CDI, you'll probably end up with it. I've, I've got two copies of this CDI. Um, yeah, it's not probably one of the more playable games that I've got with the system, but the thing with the CDI is that that doesn't mean much because in general the games are just absolute crap for it but that's um, what you what you expect to get um, if we didn't have these uh, crappy systems that no one bought then uh, there wouldn't be anything interesting to collect so uh, you've got to be thankful for that but it's not a good game you wouldn't want to uh, you wouldn't want to really play this any more than once Yeah, tennis on CDI, how's about that?